Hi again, uh, everybody. Thank you for joining with me. Um, my initial intention with these reflections, they started during the height of lockdown um, a couple of years ago now, but my initial intention was to sort of give us a, yet another opportunity just to stop and pause and think, reflect upon what God is saying through his word. And I'm quite deliberately going quite slowly through different passages. We've been working through Ephesians now for a number of weeks and we're on to chapter five today. Um, we will soon run out of Ephesians, so if you want me to continue with these things, um, maybe you'd like to suggest uh, where we turn next and what you'd like to reflect upon uh, next time. Drop me a message and uh, let me know. Anyway, uh, chapter five of Ephesians and uh, verse one, it, it kind of follows on quite obviously from all that we were looking at last week. Last week we were looking at different examples, positive examples of how we might live as God's people. And so chapter five and verse one continues that by saying, follow God's example therefore as dearly loved children. Uh, I love watching uh, toddlers, uh, young children with their parents. And I love to see how so often um, a little boy uh, will try and mimic his dad and he'll try and sort of stand in the same way. And, and if maybe if, if um, dad's doing something in the kitchen, then the little boy will, will pick up a wooden spoon and try and do something similar. I love to see the way that little girls will often mimic their mum. And uh, if um, mum is doing something in the garden, then a little girl might, might uh, sort of side alongside with a small trowel or, or something and, and try and look as though they're doing much the same thing. I love to see the way that children mimic their parents or significant adults. And in that way, we are called to mimic our Father God. We're to follow God's example as dearly loved children. Friends, you and I are dearly loved by God as a father loves his children. So as a mother loves her children, so we are to uh, know that we're loved, we're treasured, we're cherished by the most loving father imaginable. And so the greatest compliment we can pay our heavenly father is this, to follow his example, to try and do as he does. We're not perfect, of course we're not. We're not God, of course we're not. But to try and follow his example, to live as his children. Now, there are all sorts of ways that we can do that, and we'll come on to a few of them over the course of the next few days. But let's leave it at that for today. Let's reflect upon that. How today, how in the next 24 hours, can I live a life that reflects my uh, position as a child of God? How can I be God? How can I show God in the way that I live today? Let's pray. Father, you have done so much for us. You've done everything for us. You've given us everything. How might we show other people the reality of you? Please help us, show us, guide us, I pray, for your glory. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow, I hope. Take care.